So I've been trying to work on how I introduce these videos, these vlogs. You know, I used to say, what's up guys, welcome back to another video, but I recently got roasted by Tawny and Emery. You know, they were picking fun at me and saying, you know, this is how you introduce your videos, and then they were mimicking me, and I was like, yeah, that does sound kind of stupid, and that is the typical way that YouTubers introduce their videos. What's up guys, how are you doing, blah, blah, blah and uh spider web and uh so if i don't sound as enthusiastic when i start the videos that's why because i'm gonna start just doing it a little bit more laid back a little bit more leisurely like i would in real life so you know today is friday and it is our writing live stream night come on simon come this way and, you know, I need to go get a cable because I'm still in the pursuit of trying to make my live streams look a little better. So when I watch other people's live streams, their video quality seems pretty crisp. And, you know, I'm using a Blackmagic cinema camera to live stream, right? And I'm going straight into my Camlink 4K, into my Mac, and then just live streaming like that. So I know the camera quality is good enough um, I know that the HDMI cable is a decent HDMI cable, and I know that my internet's good. You know, it's hardwired in, I'm getting, you know, um, I'm getting good upload speeds now. So, I don't know if maybe it is just the way that the Blackmagic camera is interfacing with the, the live stream software. I don't know if it's how it is interacting with the Elgato cam link so I'm gonna try my Sony mirrorless tonight and see if that you know yields any different results a crisper cleaner picture so I gotta go get a micro SD a micro HDMI cable to regular HDMI cable in order to make that happen so that's really the number one thing that I gotta get done today and then um, beyond that it's basically just trying to enjoy this Friday you know, I'm finally sort of pain free. I think the antibiotics that I was taking that I had were old, so they were only like halfway working. And I feel like the prescription I got yesterday, um, being new antibiotics, I think uh, are a lot more potent. And uh, I think they're working a lot quicker because I'm tender really to the touch, but I don't have a lot of pain. So one thing I wanna talk about also is the YouTube channel in general come on Simon so once this 100 series is over what are we gonna do you know what would you guys like to see would you like to see vlogs continued on you know maybe not in a daily fashion maybe in a weekly fashion would you like to see them sprinkled throughout do you want to see me double down on filmmaking stuff like tried and true filmmaking stuff not like you know, this is how you shoot B-roll, but like real, like grip and gaff and filmmaking set etiquette and stuff like that. Does that sound like something you guys would want or do you just want me to upload whatever, you know? Because as we get through this 100 series, we're gonna be more into our horror anthology. So of course we'll be uploading stuff from that. Like I said, pre-production, production stuff. So there'll be all that filmmaking stuff, but you know, when I'm not shooting those videos or that type of content, what would you like to see? You know, let me know down in the comments because I've been thinking a lot about this and thinking about where I'm going to gear this channel to because one of the important things about the 100 series project is not just, you know, seeing if I can complete it and seeing if I can, you know, approve upon things that I need to approve upon personally and creatively like time management and upload consistency and that sort of thing but it's also trying to find my audience so shooting all these vlogs and bringing a certain amount of people in to try to find out who really is interested in my channel and the types of things that I do so uh, just really getting that feedback you know because probably over the course of 
you know the next 50 videos I'm gonna be talking more about filmmaking and talking about how to do certain things especially with the month of you know October coming up we're gonna be talking about how to do uh, probably horror writing how to edit a horror film finding horror music um, you know how to direct a horror film you know how to do basic special effects things so that'll be all good um, but yeah so I'm trying to figure out what I'm gonna do with this channel and I think that going forward you know into next year I'm gonna really double down on my horror film review channel my second one especially once I nail down this live streaming issue because that'll probably be a live stream only channel where we do reactions to horror films and horror film reviews but it'll all probably be done live so that's cinema creep I'll talk more about that as that you know uh, becomes a bigger thing again you know but it won't take away from this channel this channel is the number one priority that's number two so you know I'm just thinking about what it is I'm gonna do and getting a creative strategy for the next six months going into the end of the year and thinking about what is it that I want to work on in 2024 when it comes to YouTube specifically so what would you guys like to see let me know because you know I can upload videos but I want to make sure that uh, as a community you know we're we're all getting value from them and you guys are getting entertained as well so that's just my thoughts. Would you look both ways before you cross that road? Okay. Look both ways. Hey, did you look both ways? Look that way. Look this way. All right, let's go home. This is not the time to stop and roll. This is not the time to stop and roll, Simon. Alright, so I went and picked up the micro HDMI to HDMI cable and came home and I tested it on the Sony mirrorless and it's just a converter. Uh, so your HDMI cable plugs in the top and then the micro HDMI on one side goes into the camera. That's what I ended up getting and I'm 100% sure I have one of those somewhere in the studio because when I wanted to test this camera out the other week to see how it would do on live streaming. Um, I tore my studio apart and I have bins and bins full of cables so I was looking for it and I was like okay well maybe I gave it away maybe I lost it but I'm sure I have one here somewhere which doesn't matter because I went and I bought one but that was $13 that I know that I have already somewhere here uh, but finding it is a completely different story so when picked that up I did a private live stream to test the quality and it is going to work I think the quality that I saw looked uh, twice as good as what I've been putting up so I'm super stoked on that now I'm a little curious though as to why my black magic camera isn't giving me as good of quality as the Sony mirrorless um, because I've used black magic cameras in live broadcast situations before and the quality was nice and crisp and I know it's not the lens I have on it um, I'm not sure what it is Maybe it has to do with using it with an Elgato 4K cam link as opposed to using it with like an Atom, you know, Blackmagic Atom switcher or something like that because that's what I've used it with in the live broadcast scenarios was like a Blackmagic switcher. So maybe that has something to do with it. I have no clue. But um, anyway, so I think I'm going to use the Sony mirrorless on the live stream tonight and uh, we'll see how the quality looks because to me it looked better now uh, other than that it's been a pretty laid-back day you know we just really haven't done much and that's okay because like yesterday I talked about some days are go 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 and today was supposed to be a day like that we had some things planned but I ended up sleeping in a little bit and you know we just laid around and days like that are just as good as 
days when you're out taking adventures. You know, you just have to really, you know, decide what you want to do for the day. And, you know, as long as you're happy with it, that's all that matters. So, um, the only thing I hate about it was, you know, I was down for two days this week. Felt terrible. So I feel like I've sort of lost my days off this week because tomorrow it's already time to go back to work. But you win some and you lose some. Um, so the rest of the night, I think we're just going to go pick up dinner, get some takeout, and then come back, eat, probably watch a movie, and then I'm going to hop into this live stream and get some of this script finished up because now it is almost time to have the first draft of this um, first portion of this script just completed and then start trying to figure out whether I'm going to uh, involve other writers and uh, horror filmmakers in this film and have them write a short for it or if I'm just going to start writing the other two shorts. So um, I'll talk more about that tonight in the live stream but that is really the biggest uh, hurdle with this now is trying to figure out exactly which direction I'm going to go with it. So um, Hopefully you guys watched the live stream. Hopefully you saw the quality because by the time you watch this video, you know, that should have already been going on. So hopefully we figured all of that out. But I think that's really going to be it for this one, guys. I posed a lot of questions in this video, but um, like I said, just trying to figure out creatively the next couple months and past the 100 series and beyond of what I'm going to do and the direction of this channel. So if you have any input, cool. If not, then I'll just keep doing what I do and just putting up what I put up, you know, different things and just filling out the waters or testing the waters. I think that's how the saying goes. But anyways, as always, guys, stay rad. Just go shoot and I'll see you tomorrow. See ya. Thank <laughs> you.